Italian, 1033, pay 1033, admission in the 15 reference one at gunpoint. Interest on 1111. I'm I'm an American. No, but you don't eat American cheese, do you? No, I mean it's uh, that's more like government cheese, which isn't real cheese. But I mean, I'll eat it because it's on everything. But you know, if I'm if I'm gonna get a, a there goes there goes that guy in that white white car again. Anyway, if I'm gonna get a, a fine cheese, like I'm going like you know Gouda or or you know like a a, a sharp sharp cheddar. Yeah, so like you like uh, British cheese. I, the Gouda is good and stuff. The, um, but I mean, sharp cheddar is pretty uh, pungent as well. I mean, it is, you know, like, Swiss is like sourish, man. I never really realized that. All I know is, that, all I know is American cheese is like plastic. Like when you, especially when you take it out of the plastic. You ever yeah, get that it's, damn Velveeta? You just eat the plastic, man. No, it's nasty. The texture's all wrong. I remember my, my uh, growing up, my dad would make grilled cheese. Like he was all excited about, it. Like, who wants a grilled cheese? Uh, one, and he'd cook them in the pan, but he'd butter up the bread, he'd throw it in the uh, pan, and of course, yeah, the bread would turn black because he was trying to melt the cheese, and that American cheese don't really melt the same way, so he'd serve you a burnt grilled cheese and the cheese was barely melted well, it's like, like a you, instead of a black and tan that's like a black and orange yeah but it tastes like shit but yeah well yeah yeah because it's all burnt right of course you I never mean, want, never want to hurt pops's feelings but you're like i, I don't right? know if i can eat this yeah you choke it down wash it wash it down with like a gallon of milk and you know so yeah yeah that gallon of milk's just to get moisture back in your mouth Yep, that's what I'm going with, man. Jesus. And it's all bitter because it's burnt. You know how burnt yep. has like a bitter taste. Like, you don't like sour because you like sauerkraut? Uh, actually, like, you know, I, I enjoy a good sauerkraut on, on a, on a, on a you, know, you know, uh, a tubed meat. You like tubed meat and sauerkraut? What if you put a little Swiss cheese on top of that? It wouldn't be sour nope. anymore. I mean, I'll eat Swiss cheese on some sandwiches, but I'm not like, hey, there's a there's a slice of Swiss cheese. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to eat that plain. I'm just not. That's not for me. Well, I mean, that's a little little outrageous. Anyways, I don't know anybody go down the street, slam on their brakes, go, give me that piece of cheese. Uh, weirdos, weirdos would do that. Well, that's true. There's plenty of them out here. I, you know, like when I'm when I'm thinking about like a good, you know, like a good cheese, like. A, there, there's like Munster cheese and then can around, cheese. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah, canned cheese is delicious, bro. You can spread that with, with crackers. Like I, I enjoy a good canned cheese, man. Yeah, I don't spread it. I just like spray it. Like, that's what. I, that's what I mean. Like on oh, the cracker, bro. Yeah. Oh, on the cracker. Yep. You like make a like an ice cream cone thing all the way up, and then you eat that. Gets in your beard and everything. Yeah, you know, put it, put that right there on the cracker, bro. And it's, it, it, you know, I, I enjoy a, a canned cheese, you know. Fastest weight about 6,000 calories, though. Well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Well, you're skinny, so, I mean, you probably get away with it. But uh, you get a little aged on you, and that canned cheese starts showing up in your uh, waistline there. All of a sudden, you can't put your gun on the inside of your waistband no more, and you know, it kind of hurts when you bend over and stuff because it pinches you. And you know what I mean? It's like, it's, yeah, you you know, it, it, you done you get Dunlap's disease. Your 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 stomach's Dunlapped over your belt. Thank God, I just got an email this morning. It said the gym's gonna be back open uh, out here in Sandy because uh, the goddamn government's finally opened that shit back up. So um, so we should have gyms here shortly, and that'll be good because I need uh, I need to get rid of. Uh, matter of fact, my buddy at work. This guy, like, he eats like a child. You know, he, like, only eats, yeah. uh, like, you know, chicken fingers and stuff. I was, I was actually going to say, like, chicken nuggets. Yeah. And, uh, you know, macaroni and cheese. Anyways, he's counting calories now. I'm like, well, I've never heard of anybody doing that. Uh, not, I mean, obviously, people do that. He's never done that before. And I said, like, why are you worried about calories now? He's like, waistband. And I was like, oh, shit. So if it's come down to a point where somebody who, uh, a grown man who eats child food 
is now worried about calories. I mean, that's that's how you know the times are rough. Yep, for sure, bro. For sure. That's a nice little exploder over there. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't flip over or and blow up or I something don't know if, even worse. That son of a bitch is lowered. You see how lowered it is? That thing ain't flipping nowhere. Speed bumps uh, going to be a problem. I used to have Appar a lower. Appar apparently, I must not have for I must have forgot to shower. No, he probably showed up and then is like, "Oh, they're outside, so that means the uh, inside must be quarantine or something." That's what a lot of people think. They see everybody on the outside. Oh, I I didn't I didn't know that that was a thing. Like I didn't know there was a quarantine here. Like I I just been running around, you know, doing doing normal stuff. Who knows what state these people are coming from? You know what I mean? Yes, you know, weird, weird places, bro. They'd be coming from New York or something. They're like, oh, look, there's people outside. That place is infected with COVID. Or something even worse, like out of Michigan. I'm, uh, I'm trying to put this together. Michigan have a problem? No, man. Like, you, you ever heard the old adage? You know why? You know why all the uh, trees in Ohio lean north? Michigan. Because Michigan sucks. I mean, you're, damn, you're loaded with them today. You're just, I mean, you're throwing them out there like you had these sitting in your back pocket the whole time. I got cue cards, you know, like I just whip them out of my, whip, whip them out of my, you know, uh, underwear and, and, and just, you know, lay them down. First of all, that's got to be quite a deck that you got hidden in nowhere. And then now you're, you're questioning my magic abilities, but yet... You somehow have all these cue cards shoved somewhere where there shouldn't be anything shoved, and that we imagine, just, you know. But notice, I'm not asking you how you do that. You know it's I mean? a, it's, this is a don't ask, don't tell state. Yeah, well, I don't want to know your trick, but it's definitely got to be. A, it's not a Chris Angle Angel kind of trick, you know. What I mean, this is like a real one, like a like a real David Copperfield Penn and Teller kind of trick. Hey, there's that. Uh, there's there's that. There's that truck again. That was slow rolling, that bitch. My whiskey uh, got stuck on the, made my arm get stuck in the pole here. Well, goddamn. They also put a P9 sign right there. That's what I said. I was like, there's the P9. Well, I didn't say it was right there, but there's one right there. I knew about the one on the inside in the bulletin board, but I didn't know about this one out here. Yeah, there's there's actually one over there, over on the other side of the door too, like over over there. Oh damn, that guy must be hurting for business. Or maybe he, you know, like all this advertisement, he's getting all the business, you know, because you know, small small dick land. Yep. And then you got Molly Molly's for sale. You got Molly's. What's Molly's? Yeah. It's, oh, I like the drugs. The, dr the drugs. It's right right over there above the exotic dancing lessons. Well, I, I mean, you see some of the ladies out here. I think you need some mollies to be able to pay them to dance for you. And, and then, and then somebody drew a guy with a big with, with a big dick right here. What the open sign? No, no, like uh, right, right there on, on that pole. Like, look at look at that look at that drawing on the pole right here. Come on, right, right, right here. That looks like that's a robot with a dick or something, and a dog. Yeah, it's a, whatever, man. Like it's it's a robot or a dog with a big dick. Well, it's a robot walking his dog with a heart on. Oh, well, that that that's that's the wildest shit I've ever heard of, bro. You never, you didn't like. Do you look at clouds and come up with stuff like that too? I mean, it looks like it's like a robot with a uh, with, with with a bow and arrow with a big dick. Crazy. Now I thought about for a minute, like I got my Zippo out, and I was gonna maybe set this thing on fire, but I don't want to burn down the yellow jack. But yeah, because that'll definitely that'll definitely light the whole place on fire. Yeah. But somebody wants a roommate, but they must be vegan. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, look at that. Like. It says must be vegan, female, eco, eco feminist, bongo drum skills preferred. Like what? What the shit, man? Like, 
That's got Cletus's. That's got Cletus's name right. I don't. I don't, I don't. I don't think Cletus can actually play the bongos. Like in, unless you're talking about like drumming on women's boobies. Well, I don't know if he can even write that clearly. Oh, you're talking about like he he was the one that put that up there. Yeah, but he didn't write it. I mean, I don't know him that well, but I do. It's some of those words. They just I can't yeah, see that's, him. Yeah, that's way that's way too much. That's way too much for him, bro. Too complicated. Yeah. Oh, for sure. If it said something about condoms or whatever, then I would be like, oh, I don't know. But no, it's he's talking about vegan, which probably doesn't know what that means. And he's the one that makes those. Uh, well, no, you made them before here too, right? Those ketchup tacos or whatever. Yeah, man. Like uh, you know, yeah, Cole just wanted a ketchup taco because he was like, ketchup tacos are his favorite thing ever, and so I made him one, and and then he was like, I, I don't, I don't actually like these. It, it was wild. He, he, you know, he was like bipolar that day. That's uh, that's a lot to uh, that's a lot to swallow there. I mean, that's a lot to take. In. I mean, that's what she said. Well, I mean, perhaps I've I've never I've never actually heard that in any uh, setting that I've ever been in. I try to stay light at my feet, though, if you know what I mean. I try to keep uh, try to keep the wall a little light, you know, like so you're not your bags aren't heavy. Um, sure, man. Like, okay, okay. Like, you're not you're not packing your you, all right. Well. I mean, well, you started to go with the pack at the, I'm listen, if you got to sit on a motorcycle all the time, the last thing you need is some, uh, you know, you know, the major league, like we were talking about earlier, they got these, like, they got hard balls, you know, they're, you know, they're, like you can't squeeze them. Although you can't really with softballs either, but you know, softballs are much bigger. So let's just say for argument's sake, if you're riding a motorcycle, would you rather have a set? Would you rather be sitting on a set of uh, softballs or a set of hard balls? Well, I mean, personally, I wouldn't be sitting on my balls at all, but, you know, sometimes they, they slide under there, but definitely a little bit softer. Well, because the softballs are huge, right? And then the hard balls are smaller, so they kind of, they don't get in the way as much. So if you're riding motorcycles, what you do not want is the larger ones. You like the more smaller ones so that... Uh, if you got to hit the brakes fast or, you know, you got to swerve because, you know, something runs out in front of you, then uh, you'll survive it with uh, less damage. Oh, OK. You know, like, I, I mean, I, I think that makes sense. Like, you, and then sometimes, you, you know, like you don't want you don't want to hit your balls on the, on the, on the tank. Well, hit your balls are nothing. Yeah. Or or, or, not, or yeah, or, or yeah, you, you definitely. I mean, but you you don't want to you don't want to hit your balls on the tank because that that hurts. Yes, uh, and then some, and then after you start breathing again, you come to uh, if you're still riding. Uh, there's another, uh, you know, you can like go off the road and crash into stuff because you were passed out for a moment. Speaking of, do you have your motorcycle? I think it's out back. I mean, if you ever want to go for a ride, you know, I'm game. I told you uh, I, when I first got here, I got a call from Barry. Uh, yeah. he, he he fled or whatever. You know, he got all his millions or whatever from that lawsuit that he won. And then, um, or not, he never, like, I guess they settled out. But he got all his money. I never really cared. But, yeah, he, he went back home. And then uh, he's going to be coming back. So I was, I went by the old house and... Uh, Cause I thought they sold it, but no, it's just been sitting there because they've been out of town. And, uh, I guess he's going to be, I went to see if he was there. He hasn't come back in yet. Uh, maybe on the weekend or whatever, but, uh, oh, cool, yeah. man. So I'd already told him like, listen, dude, you left your fucking motorcycle here. I gave it to a friend of mine. So don't be looking for it. You got fucking millions. Just go buy a new one. He's like, yeah, I will. No worries. So I was like, cool. So you don't got to worry about, uh, you know, uh, you know, any type of, uh, negative impact. Uh, against Barry. Yeah. Was, oh, oh, yeah. That, that's amazing because he's all, he's almost shot me once before, and I did not enjoy that. Yeah. Well, he's not really good at holding his temper, uh, and more importantly, he's not really good about holding his temper when there's cameras around. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got you. Yeah. He doesn't care. He's like if he gets, you know, if he gets. Uh, 
Well, if he gets a little bit of a of a mood, let's just say what it is. He gets a little bitchy, for lack of a better term. Then he, uh, you know, he instantly wants to go to violence. And I'm always like, Barry, you got to look around for cameras, dude. If this is that fucking chat again, like I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna go off on him. You want me to shoot him? I don't know. It could, it could. Be, I mean, that's definitely like a chick's car, and it was. Yep. It's definitely something that Chad would drive. So we'll see. Yep. And then where they park? Oh no! It, it's it's that guy. That, you know, nor, normal, normal, yeah, drunk, drunken local. Well, you finally got some business there. So yeah, you if he uh, if he wants to go get a beer or whatever, you go get him, go take care of him, whatever, and then I'll uh, hell, I'll go take a piss, and then uh, all right, yeah, I'll be right back, yeah, like uh, maybe I'll take my 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 my, my car out back. We go for a ride around. All right, if you want to do that, yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds good. All right, I'll go take a piss. I'll meet you back out here in a minute. Hey, he's outside. Yeah, I don't. He's gonna go with his motorcycle. I guess he said just grab a bottle and get what you want. Hey, there you are. Yeah, I had to go, you know, take a leak and 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 get get all these clothes on. Did the uh, doorknob get stuck on you as well? Cause uh, when I went to go in there, the doorknob was like stuck. I had to shake it a whole bunch of times. And uh, yeah, yeah, that you, does happen. Yeah, you mean well, I mean the shaking part or the door lock? Uh, both of them. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to talk to a locksmith, but. Uh, Hopefully you can get that fixed, you know, by next week or whatever. Yeah, so, you know, like, I definitely need to have them come out and, you know, like, because we accidentally locked ourselves out of the, uh, you know, uh, top, too. So, like, maybe we'll get that fixed, too. Yeah, yeah. Cops. Hired cops, yep. All right, well, uh, let's go for, uh, you need gas or anything? Um, I don't know. Like, let me see how much I got. Looks like I got about, you know, like three quarters of a tank. That's good enough. Uh, you want to, let's see, I guess we'll go out here to Harmony and then come down the uh, back way there. We'll see if, uh, you know where Barry lives or where uh, his aunt's house is? Have you been there before? Uh, I'll I've, show you. I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't I don't think I've been there before. All right. Uh, well, because that, so uh, it's. It was like our first clubhouse, so if we ever meet up there, uh, then uh, you'll know where to meet us. So uh, we'll go there. Yeah, sounds good. And we'll go out here and uh, make a left, and then go to the street, turn right. All right, you you lead, you lead because I don't I don't want to get lost. Damn guys are drunk. Yeah, sorry about that. I had uh, my gun started slipping out to put it away. That idiot said uh, some dumb shit to me, so I had to smack him. But and then my gun started slipping out.
We're going to turn uh, right up here at the signal. Turn right at the signal. Yep, roger that. See, we're right uh, side by side there. If I can uh, straighten up. There you go, yeah. Man, gonna be a gonna be an MC master soon, I can tell you. Yeah, so, sound, that sounds amazing, bro. So it's this house right up here on the right with the satellite dish, so we're gonna pull over in the dirt here. I like to pull like that. That way, uh, if we got to run out of here real quick and get out of here. Oh, yeah, understandable. Yep, you, you know, quick quick on the draw sort of thing. Yep, well, I got that too. It says the place is for sale. Hey, Barry! Aunt Barrel, are you here? Barry! Yeah, this is his uh, aunt's place. You guys yeah. home? She's, uh, she can't hear too well sometimes, and of course, you know, he's always talking about how good he is and stuff, so he doesn't hear anything. You guys home? Huh. Anyways, this is, uh, this is, uh, his aunt's house. Her name's Barrel, and, uh, he stays here, too. Oh, cool, man. I think Jamal did a number on those satellite dishes over there because, like, he went to school to become a, like a satellite dish installer or something. And yeah. he's, like, he's like, oh, I can get you free showtime and stuff. But I think she wanted Cinemax. I don't know if you ever hooked her up. Well, I mean, he also sells that Mary Kay stuff, too. So, I mean, you know, because I remember when we when we went to the the Yellow Jack, like, we, we you know, like Mary Kay, Mary Kay car or something like that. Oh, when we went down to the I mean, strip club? The, yeah, the, the vanilla New York not the Yellow Jack. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I be, well, he bought that place, I guess, with all his uh, with the lipstick money or something. That's wild. You don't got to hide. It's going to be okay. It's like nothing to be. I mean, when we used to be here, by the way, the STFU used to come over here. Like, we'd have meetings over here and stuff. Yeah. And there's some weird old neighbor down the street down there across the street. He would be shooting at us and stuff. And the cops come out here and they'd be like, oh, question us. Like, do you have guys, have guys, you know, you guys have guns? And we're like, well, yeah, of course. Duh. There's an idiot over there shooting us. Why wouldn't we have guns? Oh. oh. Are, are, you are you friends with those fellers right there? Like, no. that guy, those guys? That is the lost. Uh, no, I, I, I just saw them. They can't be, they can't be that lost. They, were, they, just, they just drove oh. down the road. No, they're lost. They're in our territory. And they uh, like to flaunt it because they know Barry's out of town and it's just me. And uh, yeah. since, you know, you're not patched in yet. Are you packing, by the way? Oh, you know, like j just, just, you know, nope, I don't have a gun. Uh, we might need to resolve that. Might need to go over to the ammunition. Because if you're on motorcycles, I mean, first of all, there's so many crazy people out here. You need to get them. You don't have to have the STFU patch. As a matter of fact, if you're wearing a cut uh, one day, then you want to make sure you don't do damage while you're wearing it. Because then it brings on heat down on the club and stuff. No, I got, I got you. But it's always good to have some protection, especially because you're exposed to the elements. So, uh, yeah, maybe we should go get one uh, if you're, if you're comfortable with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, like we, we need, we definitely need to get one like for the bar. So it's, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, here, let me. Uh, I want you to. So we're in Barry's land here, so you can practice shoot this here real quick. Hold on. Yeah, go grab it, if you will, and uh, let's shoot at some targets. All right. I got I got it. All right. So I was thinking drop gun, but, you know, instead of, I was really wanted to drop my weapon. Yeah, I was wondering how you dropped that. So you see these, uh, these uh, barrels right here? 
Yep. Those, those are going to be our targets, but let's. Those are going to be our target, but let's go back here. Uh, so it's not like shooting fish in a barrel. And then from here. I get it because those are barrels. Yeah, so if you. Um, like if you need to, if you point it, it's night like it is, and you need to see, um, you know, you can uh, you can turn the light on uh, there with your with your finger. Like I like how you're doing trigger discipline there. It looks really good. It looks like you know what you're doing. So if you see, then you can turn on the light. Uh, which 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 button? You know, which, which button? Which, which, I I tried, you know, like a, like, a C button, but it did it did. Yeah, it didn't but it's not. It. It's like the second part of it, you know, like you know. Okay, the, I got you, I got you, I got you. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, a flashlight right there. Yeah. So that'll light it up. Uh, that's now you don't want to do it. It's too dark because if uh, people are around you, they'll see the light. You know, it's kind of like yeah. I don't know if you know if I was in the Navy. I mean, I've told people I was in the Navy and stuff, but uh, I, I tried no to idea. keep that quiet. It was crazy. So it's like in sonar, if you go to, you know, an old, like like the movie, they go, bing, bing. But no, we don't do that because if you turn on the light right now. Yeah. And it's pitch black out here. I would see you shining that light and I know exactly yep, where you're yep, at, but yep. you wouldn't see me because I would be in the dark. So that's kind of oh, like what you. that does. Yeah. So you don't, you don't got to be careful with that. You don't give All away right. your position. Go ahead. Squeeze a few, so you got to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. It goes off like that. See, you want it to be a surprise. There you go. Shoot a little bit higher. We got to hit the barrel, though. So you got the two little, the like the little uh, sights. It's kind of like a square with a notch in the middle. Like the front sight's a notch, and the back one's like a C with a yeah. square. Yep, yep. You want to line it up so it's all nice and perfectly level. There you go. How does that feel? Oh, it feels pretty good. Like it, I, you know, it, it 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 shoots pretty well. Like this thing feels like well oiled, like a well oiled machine. Yeah. It shoots pretty well too, man. Like I just I just lined up line those up, and it just it just goes, man. Yep. All right, listen. I don't know if we uh, officially uh, if we officially made it uh, formal or not, but uh, I know that you got the vest and everything, which is you know not marked and everything. But uh, at this time, I'm gonna call you a prospect of the STFU. What do you think oh, about wow. that? That that I'm 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 actually like that, that's really cool, man. Like I'm 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 actually honored, man. Like I well, appreciate that. I mean, yeah, you're gonna, you're honored and stuff. Put the put the pistol on your waistband there in the back. Let's see how it looks. How does it feel there? Yeah, you know, like it, feel, it feels pretty good. It, oh shit! All right. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. Yep. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're like you're right there, old uh, 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 hell. Yeah, yeah, just a little rusty. We haven't uh, we haven't gotten any fist fights in a while, but good job. Yeah, I haven't either. There. Yeah, well, I mean, you knocked me down, so yeah, good on you. So listen, as a uh, as a newly uh, prospect, uh, my gift, uh, my welcome gift to you is you can have that gun. No, oh, appreciate that. Like that's gonna, amazing, man. I'm gonna go buy my own, and. Uh, uh, yeah, that way I'll have one and you'll have one. But yeah, take care of it, keep it clean. Cause a, a dirty gun. Yeah. I mean, you know what they say about dirty uh, guns, you, right? Dirty gun is a is a misfiring gun. Well, that and it won't find its target. That, that I mean, you know, say, say so. Yep. You, that can go so many different ways. Yep, yep, yep. So keep her clean, and she'll be honest and true. So yeah, congratulations, welcome to STFU. Yeah, uh, man. Like I appreciate. It. I'm, I'm actually, you know, like I, I'm, I'm, that's cool, bro. Yeah. Yep. I had to beat you up just to bring you in. You'll be able to do that in the future. Awesome, man. That's right. awesome. We have two rules in the STFU. Uh, Barry's our president, uh, but he left. But he's still kind of our president and stuff. But doesn't matter. The first rule is whoever is the 
acting president or the president or the leader of the club. So right now, since Barry's not around, currently it would be me. But whoever is the highest uh, leader, anytime their bike goes down for whatever reason, don't worry about anything else. You got to somebody in the club and choose the prospects or their first charge is to stand that bike up. Yeah. It's the symbol of the club. The motorcycle cannot All touch right. the ground or if it does, because right. something bad's going on. So we have to get it back up. It's the symbol of the club. Secondly, yep, that's a, that's an easy one. Yep, got it. You're cut. Anytime that you're with club, if you're doing club business or you're representing the club, that cut needs to be on. The only time you take it right. off is if you're evading law enforcement for whatever reason. Okay, rather that or to to escape detection of a rival club. You know what I mean? So, yeah, but, like like the like those fellers that were were riding by earlier, the, the lost guys. Well, for that, yeah, but, you know, in that situation, we'd want to represent. So, Well, I mean, if I, if I was by around. myself, you know, like I was riding down the road and they were after me, that maybe that's, you know, like some, something wild like that. Makes yep. Well, you can also try to get a hold of us. I mean, it's possible to uh, call us while you're riding because you got a free hand and just say, help, the yeah. fucking lost are after me. And then we will we will uh, nuclear nuclear fire their little compound around the corner. Oh, where, where, where are they over there? Are they like over there in the, what is that, the Stab Cities? Let's go check it out. 